One of the most important and easiest ways to improve the appearance of your family tree charts when you have them printed is to properly adjust the pictures that you include in it. The picture shown here is pretty typical of many of the ones we see here at Heartland Family Graphics. It looks okay on screen, but in fact it's a little bit dark, and when this is converted to paper and ink it can look pretty muddy. In the most extreme cases, it can be hard to tell who the person is. If this bothers you, don't go to the brightness and contrast controls. I'm going to show you how to use levels, which in most cases is the best way to deal with this issue. You can see the levels curve here on the left side of the screen. I'm using Apple's preview application because it's streamlined and easy to see what's going on but levels adjustments can be found in virtually all good image editors. You can find it in Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Graphic Converter, iPhoto, Lightroom, many others. What you're seeing here is the distribution of the brightness of the pixels in the picture from black to white. You can see in this picture, this dark picture, the, pic the the curve is shifted quite a bit to the left. Right here there's a peak of very dark pixels and that probably corresponds to the hair in this picture. But there are no very bright pixels. I'm going to fix that by sliding this white point slider over to the right edge of the curve. And what that does is define those pixels at the edge as being white you can see the pictures all pictures already quite bright but the face which is the most important thing to me as a genealogist isn't quite as bright as I want so I'm going to open up the midtones a little bit more by sliding the gray slider a bit to the left you can see the face itself will print a little better now but we've lost contrast in the picture and there aren't really good blacks in it anymore. So I'm going to take this black point slider and define the pixels at the very left edge of this curve as being black. And you can see that the contrast has come back and we have a good range of tones from the very darkest to the very brightest. Now when we started with this picture it probably looked okay but let's take a look at it now. Not so good. Going back to where we ended up, that will print well. And if you adjust all the pictures in your chart the same way, your chart will look fantastic.